Hello, so today I'm going to show you a stretch and a foam roller exercise for your inner thighs. We're going to do a couple of them on the ground, and then don't worry, I will show you a couple of them standing, because I know sometimes you're like, Kathleen, I don't want to get down on the ground in the middle of my day. So use these maybe at night while you're watching Netflix, and during the day, you can do the standing versions, okay? There's always a fitness solution. So you're going to come down onto hands and knees, and you're going to bring one leg out to the side. Now the key is that your hip with this, because you're going to want to bring your leg forward and sort of hike the hip up. Think of Jess Sins on Peloton. She always says, no ego, amigo, meaning meet yourself where you are. If you need to have your leg back here to keep your hip down, cool. If your leg needs to be back down back here, cool. So you go to where you can keep that hip really long, and you're just going to take the top of the inner thigh, and you're just going to gently press it down into the ground, okay? So you're pressing down from your foot and the inner thigh here. So I'm stealing this or I'm borrowing this uh, variation that I'm gonna show you next from Dr. Spina who does functional range conditioning. So you're welcome to just hang out here and stretch the inner thigh, it feels nice. Or you can try more of a pales rails. So you would press down into the ground from the top of the, the thigh and the foot and really feel the inner thigh active and then you'd squeeze your bum and you try to lift the leg without shifting. Now if you can't actually lift the leg, you can just squeeze the butt, that's fine. And you would toggle back and forth between those two things. So you press down with your inner thigh, activating the muscle, and then you'd squeeze the butt and you would lift or just leave it there but squeeze the butt and you'd go back and forth between inner thigh, bum, inner thigh, bum, inner thigh, bum. So what I would suggest is if you've never done this exercise before, just start with a 30 second, just hold, stretch, don't get fancy, and then you're welcome to add the toggle uh, back and forth when you're kind of more familiar. Another one that I'm going to show you, and I steal this one, or borrow it, from Pilates, is you're going to take this arm and you're rotating away from the leg that's down. So that'll give you a nice inner thigh stretch, it also gives you some rotation, so if you sit a lot, this is a really excellent variation. So any of those ones that you like the best, or all of them, go for it, and then you would take the foam roller and you would lie and you're going to put the inner thigh on the foam roller and you're just going to go up and down and you could find where your muscles sort of feel the most in need of a massage and I would definitely like play around with straightening and bending the knee as you go. So for me, I'm definitely when I get higher up, that's where I feel it. So I was hanging up there um, and then I could actually just sort of rotate the leg internal external rotation, I could add a little bit of pressure into it, whatever sort of feels good, but breathe. Please make sure you breathe. It's really important, don't hold your breath. Um, and sort of, you know, one to three minutes, and just make sure you just keep keep on and moving and finding the places. The nice thing about foam rolling is one day you might feel like you need it more into the upper inner thigh, and then the other one you might be like, oh, down by the knee I need it. So just listen to your body and um, do what feels good, I put good in quotes, because this stuff sort of feels spicy and good and terrible all at the same time. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to show you today a couple of my favorite standing inner thigh stretches. The first one is what I call the valley girl stretch. So you go like you're going to do a lunge, but you bring your back foot a little bit wider. You get your core, so that's important that you get that little bit of a tuck because you don't want to be arching through your lower back. Uh, and then you're just going to let your hips sort of go slightly out to the side so you feel a nice upper inner thigh um, stretch. You want to make sure that your shoulders aren't going over. So your shoulders stay fairly still and it's just quite small. It's just through the pelvis. So my left leg is forward, so I'm just going slightly over to the left. If you're mirror imaging me, you'd have your right leg forward and you're just doing that little pelvic rock, keeping your ribs, shoulders, everything fairly still. Okay, so you could do that and then you'd want to get different angles um, and fibers of the inner thigh. So then you could move your leg wider and then you would start to go into more of like an inner thigh side lunge stretch. So make sure when you're here that your butt is over top of your foot and you're sitting backwards. So you're not going forward into the knee and you sit back and you get that inner thigh stretch again. And then you can go over one more time and sit over like that. So sort of forward to so 12 o'clock and then this would be your kind of one or two o'clock and then sort of you know, two, three, and then three o'clock. Okay, so then we get into the thing I really like, which is the standing foam roller for your inner thigh. I love getting down on the ground and using this on the inner thighs, but sometimes you're like, you know, I don't want to get all the way down there. It's so far away! I get it, especially if you're in more like work clothes or whatever, totally fine. You would take the roller, you put it between your thighs, your feet are fairly close, so you feel the pressure on the roller, you get that little pelvic tuck, and then you just 
alternate bending your knees to get a nice little massage. You bring the roller up, down, as with any type of foam rolling, you want to just find the place that your body needs the most massage and stay there. And if you're like, oh, I don't need it there, I can move it up. If you're like, oh, I don't need it there, move it down. Just sort of play around, have a little bit of fun, and make sure you are breathing.